All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, we'll be working on users count functionality based on these filters. So this video is the part of the previous video where you have work on appointments count functionality based on these filters. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video because I have covered more in details on that video. So first of all, let me show you the demo of what we are going to build on this video so that you will have some idea. And here admin can filter how many users got registered uh, today, how many users got registered on last 30 days, how many users got registered on last 60 days and so on. So finally let me show you how it will look on the slow network connection as well. So let me go to network tab and then let me select slow 3G. So now if I change this and you see that little animation over the air. So how cool it is looking. And I haven't written JavaScript to do this. All this is done through library. So let's get started building this functionality. So let me open the terminal. And then first of all, let's create the library component. Let's say PSP, audition, make, library, inside of admin slash dashboard slash users count. Okay. And our component is created. So let me close this and then first of all, let me go to dashboard.blade.psv file. Okay, so over here, let me copy this and then paste it over here and we'll be displaying users count, right? Users count. So first of all, let me go to appointments count, appointments count and then let me copy this code and then let me go to users count and then paste it over here and then let's modify this okay over here and instead of appointments count let's do users count and then over here let's change this as well F admin dot users and view users right and then let me go to users count component class and over here let's create a public property called users count okay now let's create a mount method over here and then this mount method will call get users count method okay uh, for now let's do this uses count equals to 10 oh, so we can test it uh, if i refresh it yeah we see it let's change this text as well so let me go to users count and then let's change over here to users as well okay perfect so instead of displaying the static value let's make the dynamic let's go to users count component class and then over here instead of writing 10 over there let's call the method call let's say this get users count okay and then let's create that method get users count and over here we can do this users count equals to 10 we don't need to do this let me remove it from here and let's change this to 5 and then let me refresh the page and it is working right so perfect so now let's change these options as well so for that we go to users count and over here uh, will be first option will be today and today and then 30 days the value will be 30 and then 60 days value will be 60 let's create a new options option with the value of 360 and then 360 days we close this let's create the another options and then 
with the value of let's say month to date month to date and then another option with the value of year to date year to date okay I I refresh the page and we see, see those options right so let me go to users count component class and over here let's do user equals to user query and we can write those queries on next line let's do that and we can call the method call where between where between and it will accept the first argument is the field name and the field name is created at and the value can be in array with the start value and then end value right so the start value is let's say now go back to today and then current time and date and then let's do count so first of all let me show you what is the difference between now today and now so let me open the tinker environment using PSP audition tinker and if we do now it will return the carbon instance with current date and current time if we do now and then today it will return the current date but time will start from zero that's the difference so let me close this and then we haven't imported that class so let's import that and it got imported now if i refresh the page we see that on today two users got registered this is perfect so how we can make this workable with 30 days right so currently if we change this it is calling the method call get appointments count so we need to fix that and let's go to users count and then over here we need to call the method call get users count right okay so now for we have already added the functionality for today now we need to add functionality for last 30 days right for 30 days we can do for the start date we can start from now and go back and the subtract last 30 days right sub days subtract days and then let's say 30 now if i do that and if press the page and on last 30 days five users got registered right so instead of writing the logic over here let's create a separate uh, method so let me create the separate method uh, let me give it a name called get date friends and it will receive the option okay so over here we can return we can return let me return this for now so let me return this you can return the array and then let me paste it okay and instead of writing the code over here let's call the method call this and then get date friends and we'll be passing the option and and for options we'll be receiving the options from here right options are the select the options over here okay and for passing that options i have already discussed in the previous video we are using event or target of value so that on wire chains this value got transferred to this function okay so let me go back and then let me refresh the page and by default let's let me refresh it and show you the year and it is saying that two few arguments to functions so by default let's make the option as today okay so now uh, we pass the options but we are writing the code manually over here for last 30 days right so 
on this function let's add conditional for today so if the option is equals to today then we can return the array with now today as the first argument and second argument is now yeah i've already show you the difference between now today and now so now let me refresh the page again and today do you just got register which is perfect so on last 30 days let's see this on last 30 days it is already working because we have manually added 30 over here it will not work for 60 days right yep so instead of manually writing 30 over there we can pass the options directly right and on last 30 days five users got registered it will work for 60 days as well it will work for 360 days as well but it will not work for month to date and then year to date right so let's make that workable as well so if the option calls to month to date then we can return the array uh, the first argument is now and then we can call the method called first of month and the second argument is current date in time so let me show you in tinker so now and then let me call the first of month and it is showing it is returning back to the first of the current month so currently it is june 7 so it is going back to june first right this is perfect so let me close this and we can get the users that got registered from the current month to current date and it is two which is fine so now let's add another one if the option calls to year to date then we can return now and we can call the another method called first of year right and as the method name it will return the first of the current year so let me show you on tinker as well so let me do now and then first of year and it will return the first of year currently we are on june 7 2021 and if we call now and then first of year it will go back to the first of year based on this current time and date right so it is showing 2021 january 1st which is fine and if if any of these conditions do not match then it will run this as default so let me refresh the page and then let me select month to date it is working and year to date is also working so now let's see how it will look on slow network connection we have already implemented every functionality for animations and everything so if you haven't watched the previous video go ahead and watch that video as i have covered everything related to animations over there as well so let me do slow 3g and let me change this and it is already working so this much for this video i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you on the next video